Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated. It's Mary Jane. And let's talk about the NBA. Let's talk about Jimmy Butler from the Timberwolves. He does not want to be on the Timberwolves anymore. Wednesday, he went to practice, and he showed them what he was working with. He showed them what he got. He showed the GM. He showed the teammates. He showed everybody, hey, listen, you guys need me. I don't need you, and I don't want to be on this team. And I want to be traded by Friday because he wants to be traded to Miami because the Timberwolves is basically dust. He was like, yo, listen, I beat your third strings. I beat your front line players. The, the, the third strings, I beat them. You're giving them all this money and they're acting like they all this and they all that, but yet they can't be one person. That's me, Jimmy Butler. I don't want to be on this team. I want to be traded. Then on top of that, Jimmy Butler hasn't been on the court in a while to play. And he wasn't apologetic, he wasn't scared, he wasn't afraid, and he told the GM, and he said, listen, you fucking need me, you need me, Scott, you can't win without me, and he was just going in, and he was like, he didn't make no friends, they say you catch more bees with honey than you do with vinegar, but basically, Jimmy Butler was spraying vinegar all over the place, he was like, Andrew Wiggins, come on, man, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't got it. Carl Anthony Towns, you ain't got it. And he was telling the GM, Scott, listen, I want to be traded ASAP. He was telling Tom, I want to be traded ASAP. I don't want to be on this team. Like, I can't win with this team. This team is dust. Like, I beat your third strings, and I haven't been on the court in a minute. Like, yo, I don't want to be on this team. I can't get no ring. I can't win. And so, basically, he was just letting them know that what he's working. When he came in there, and he tore up the practice, he dissed and dismissed everybody on that court I was like yo this is what I'm talking about this is the NBA this is the realness this is basketball this is what we need we need we we need players with confidence we need players that ain't scared we need players that know their worth we need players that know that they are valued and they know when to leave a team when it ain't no good I was just like go Jimmy go and it was like just him to be so positive and for him to have all the belief and the confidence in himself to know his worth, to tell off the GM, to tell him that, hey, listen, I don't want to be on this team. Get me off immediately ASAP and stop trying to mess up my deal with Miami. I wish Jimmy Butler would go to the Celtics. I would be happy if he plays for the Celtics, but, you know, I only could wish that would be a great Christmas present if Jimmy Butler would go over there to the Celtics. I'll be in the court all the time. I'll be, I'll be at the games, you know what I'm saying? So, Jimmy, kudos to you for standing up and knowing your worth and your value and not being afraid and not being scared and speaking your mind and letting people know, hey, listen, I can't win with this team. And even though people saying, oh, you know what? He's leaving a bad taste in the GM's mouth. He's leaving a bad taste in coach's mouth. You know, he can be coachable, but and, and, and he can be respectful to any GM and any, you know, coach. But the problem is they're disrespecting him by not playing him number one then number two messing up his trading deals then number three they don't give him the support of teammates that can help him actually win you know to win a game to win to win the nba to win and you know what he's ready to go he's ready to go by any means necessary and he wants the world to talk about him and that's why we all talking about jimmy butler because jimmy butler did it he's like yo listen i'm done i'm too through and people are saying oh he's left oh be scared jimmy people ain't gonna wanna people ain't gonna wanna sign you other coaches ain't gonna want you other team they got they see where he beat the third strings of the team Timberwolves, OMG, they're like, can I sign him immediately? And he wants to be gone. Like, why hold somebody at a team on a team that doesn't want to be there? And he doesn't, and obviously, you know, he doesn't really have, he doesn't have, you know, the respect of the coaches, you know, because he don't respect the coaches because if, if, if he did, he wouldn't have did what he did. He just had to get out when he wants to get out and he can play for another team and he can be respectful to a coach. But this team, he wants out when you're somewhere you don't want to be the best thing for you to do is to get out and not stay and not be benched. Peace. I'm out. One love. Go Jimmy Butler. Come to the Celtics.